Join the movement. Listen to Dr. Erica David teach about things everybody should be doing and eating to keep their mind and body healthy. Watch the full ad-free reasoning now only on www.inevernewtv.com premium. All right. want to say welcome to Dr. Erica Parker here. I Never Knew TV. What's going on? Okay. Thank you. Thank, I'm really grateful that you, uh, you had to have the opportunity to be here and to share some of this information with you. So thank you. Serious thing. And I'm, I'm excited to hear the information. So uh, first question I have is that why are the kidneys so important for overall health? And do, why do people sometimes refer to the skin as a third kidney? I think it's an excellent question. So you know, to start, you know, just the basics, we have two kidneys in our body. And the main purpose of the kidneys is really to look at balance. So they're looking at balance of our fluids, so fluid intake and balance there. They're also balancing our metabolites. And another key part of the kidneys is that they help to um, flush out toxins. I think that's really an important one that we're looking at here. So when you're thinking about our kidneys, um, so imagine if, if we have these, two, these organs that are used for our, our fluid balance, the electrolytes, and also flushing out toxins, if there's a problem with the kidneys, it's going to cause issues in those areas. So essentially, um, if, you, if you have kidney problems, it can cause issues with your blood pressure because that's like the fluid balance that you have there. Another big problem can cause is if you have buildup of those toxins that I'm talking about because it works to help flush things out of your system. If they're not working right, you're going to have these toxins built up and that's going to cause some pretty serious um, health issues. I have a question now yeah. with the toxins. Where are these toxins coming from? Yeah, they can be different things. They can be environmental toxins. They could be in things that we're eating. Um, and, and just, so there's really di different ways that are getting into your system, but anything that's going to come into your system. So, right, whether it's coming from the food, from the things that you're drinking or other things in the environment too, it's helping to get all of those out of your, out of your system in general. And why do people refer to it as a third skin? Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think that's a good, that's also a good question, right? So again, we have the two kidneys and then they're calling it kind of like the third kidney in some situations because, um, the skin can do some of the things that the kidneys do. So as I talked about things with fluid balance, the electrolytes, and getting rid of toxins, the skin can do that too, right? So when you think about when you sweat, you're sweating fluid out. So that's that's watch that's addressing like the balance of um of the fluids in your system too. And I think the big thing with toxins is interesting. So they can the skin also when you sweat, you can sweat some of those toxins out. It doesn't do it at the same level as the kidneys because that's like their main focus, but it can do some of the things that it does there. And I think it's interesting, too, because sometimes, um, you know, a lot of things can show up in people's skin. So you might see if someone maybe isn't eating so well or there's something else going on in their, in their body, if they're not getting those things out properly, you can, it can show up in their skin. It can cause, like, skin, you know, rashes, blotchy, things like that. And that, that's why um, it's important to really look at the balance of all three of those things. And I'm glad you said that, right? Because mm -hmm. the more I learn, I really change my perspective on skincare. Yeah, I know yeah. That everything is external. And people don't understand, like, what's going on internal plays a big role in regards to. So you have to change what you consume. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I mean, right. Because there are, you know, I think a lot of us, fortunately, are starting, are learning more about the external environment and what's being put on. So a lot of people are trying to start to avoid skin products and things like that that are, you know, made by these companies that really probably aren't really serving us very well. And really do, doing things that are more natural, trying to do it that way. And that is wonderful. It's an excellent way to, to do things. But as you said, it's, that's not all of it. We do have to watch what we're putting into our bodies too, because that's really a key part of it. It really has to be a balance between both of those things. 